Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Super Metroid YPR and being lost. Yes, there is. I discover some new stuff in here that I can't really do along with getting into a certain room that I end up not liking one bit at all. But that's a different matter. So yeah, there's really nothing I can do in here right now. I need speed booster and power bomb to collect the rest of the items. Of course, I don't have either of those, so... But I do end up finding... Well, I guess not really finding, but... Going back to an area in Brinstar. Back where the... Little creatures were in the original. The wall jumpy ones. Eventually. I have to make sure this is all the same. Nothing's changed in here, obviously. It wouldn't actually be such a bad idea to hide something. Just like a little tunnel or path in the wall there. Because it's stuck in between two sets of crumble blocks, you can't jump up, you have to come from the one side. And then because it all looks like a solid wall, that's... That wouldn't be such a bad place to hide something, as long as it wasn't required. I always think required stuff should be a little more obvious. Just a little. I'm not saying... Everything should be like that. In fact, I do... Like with a redesign, I did like... One of my favorite things about the hack is you had to go looking around for the Chozo statues. That was one of the funner things I liked because you had to go everywhere and search. But the whole thing shouldn't really be like that either. Redesign also set that up pretty well, I think. There's this hack, not so much with... Especially the wreck ship entrance. And you, we'll, you'll see later that there was some things set up just a little too well that kind of misled me a little bit. Or a lot. So. Before I go, because really right now, I still haven't seen Epic get the speed booster, so I still don't remember that door in the And sometimes, or actually a lot of times for me, that's how I get messed up, or confused, or whatever, and lost, because I simply just forget about one door. And it just so happens to be the one door I need to go through. Now, as a hack maker, you can't really help how players, what players remember, or whatnot. But you can try your best to make things stand out a little more, or as much as possible. Because I mean, if you block off the player advancing further by putting a super missile block in. I mean, not super missile block. Well, that, or, I mean, a door cap, but a block move. I mean, you would think I would go, oh yeah, there was that super missile door cap there. I, should, I, need, I just got supers from wherever. I need to go there. It doesn't... Players don't always... Myself... Especially, it doesn't always remember that. And so, when you make a hack and then you hear things like, there's nowhere to go, you. Ha there's no hints to where to go or whatnot. I mean, sometimes you leave some very obvious stuff, and it just doesn't seem to work out as well as you would plan. As you would hope, or as you planned it to, so. 
I'm not sure that was the case with this hack. I think this hack was... Maybe just to torture people, but... It's not exactly true. I... There are some... Like I said, I cannot keep saying this. There are some very interesting ideas in here. Krokemeyer was not one of them, but... Oh yeah, here is a genius idea. I just figured. Maybe this googly eye thing breaks a block somewhere for me. Because he goes so slow, it just might be because he breaks a block somewhere. I'm like, nope. I'm not waiting for that. See, I still can't get a map station. Next, we haven't been able to get any map stations except for Criteria yet. So yes, down here, I suddenly remembered I have super missiles now. There was super missile door behind that wonderful mock ball thing. There was super missile blocks under that. It's genius. I've got this now. I am going to get something new. And down here is actually one of the more interesting things, I think. So yes, this mock ball. Now the cliffhanger hard version had something very similar to this. It's the same exact thing, really. You can get a mock ball across that. It's much tighter timing because you have to do it just right. <laughs> and then there is this room. So it hasn't hit me yet, but first was a shot block. Second was a bomb block. Still hasn't hit me yet. There's three left. Hmm. This one doesn't bomb at all. Well, that's weird. Grapple block. It still has not hit me at this point. There's two blocks left. You can probably guess what that last block is. It's a super block. Now, I'm just like, oh no, is this what I think it is? It's a power bomb lock. I hate this room. I hated this room so much when I got here. It's like, it's just a super missile. I have super missiles. I just mock balled across this thing. I've been dancing on spikes and... Yeah, this room made me a little, just a little bit. I'm upset. So with that idea thwarted, I end up deciding, well, down here doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Except for the spikes. So what's interesting over here, for one thing, it has one of the little faces. But that's not really the interesting part. The room we're coming up to is under lava. Now once you come, the faces are hidden, but once you find them, the lava just goes away. So there's either a BTS block, PLM or something or other, you touch that just basically warps the lava out of the room. So that is kind of interesting. And these stupid leech guys are just annoying. Okay, so this room, we are dropped in lava, hooray, we have various suit, doesn't do much damage, but still, it does affect physics. So yes, I kind of saw this scroll thing there, which really is just a scroll glitch, but like, well, who knows. to be something in here, right? And it does not seem to be, it's just a whole bunch of green stairs. Which this might have been a good place for like an infinite stairway or something, but there isn't that. So there is something here. And now once you get over here, lava warps out of the room. And there are creeper faces. Like, 
Hmm, that's interesting. Now the creeper face is actually a hint. That is, what do creepers do? They blow up and explode. So you're supposed to explode these. But, that's what power bombs, and they do not have power bombs. You're supposed to power bomb them so you can charge a shine spark to boost through the ceiling up here. I don't have power bombs though, or speed booster for that matter. But yeah, you can power bomb them, get rid of the whole thing, so you got room to charge your shine spark and get up there. And there's more power bombs up there, so if you need more, they're there, and it's much easier and nicer to get than that other stupid room back here. So that's a good thing. But yeah, there's really not much I can do back here, so I am still very lost. Good thing is, though, I did back to that maze place. And there's still two items in there I haven't got. And these guys are nice refills. The placement of refill bugs I find to be very difficult to do myself. Just because it's like... I don't want the player to have like a super hard time or whatever. And pickups in my hack give the player much more than the original. I did that on purpose to make things easier, but I also don't have hardly any refill bugs anywhere. And at some points I'm starting to think that maybe a like problem. There may be a few spots I need to add some in just because the player may be having a lot of trouble. And then there's something I have noticed is when you change the pickup values, the players don't always recognize that. Kind of like goes unnoticed for a while, and then and it's like, oh, I didn't know. A missile drop gave me five missiles. Or, it got 15 health from a small energy dot. That's, like, well, it's been happening all game, so. <laughs> so, get back into this big maze. I am completely lost and confused. I still don't know about the so don't remember that door in Norfair. I bet I'm headed that direction anyway. It's just me being extremely lost. I'm like, where am I supposed to go? Why am I still playing this? Because I know others have already found some other stuff, got power bombs and whatnot. I'm at this point, so I'm like, there's gotta be something around here somewhere. And so, just jumping back around through this wonderful maze. And, hey look, there's phaser beam. It's just been hiding right there all along. So I'm like, yay, I got something. And then there's the wall again. Little treadmill slope block. I've been in this quadrant like a thousand times already. And I just fell back into it like a genius. 
Mm, I'll just jump over it this time. And more side hopper fun stuff. There is an energy tank in here as well, which I find eventually. Eventually. Actually, I think it's. I think all these things are blocking me from going over there. Like, hmm, where do I want to go? Now, I find this by accident because in reality, I was just trying to find the door again, so. Both of these I just sort of came across by accident. So it's a good thing to came across them though. Just randomly coming across stuff is always a good way to find things. Like, oh, well, door, there's a door. So yeah, at this point, I found new stuff, got more items, nothing that helps me advance in the game anywhere. So I am still completely lost and I fell in a little trap one. And I used a super on it because that's genius. But actually... I believe I, this is where I end up stopping for today at the end of this video then I end up seeing where Epi goes so the next video will actually be making progress which is a good thing because after that progress is not going to happen and you will <laughs> see the path I take it is about the most disastrous thing you will ever see. And it's set up so that it seems like I'm kind of sort of supposed to be doing what I'm doing. Except I'm really not. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. So, But we'll get to that here in a little bit. So starting off in the next video, we'll actually make some progress. And so thanks for watching. And we will see you for part number eight.